when desperation, depression, isolation, desolation, wickedness, hatredness, enmity is all you feel around drowning you. The time is here and now for you to hear and know the only hope. Jesus Christ, who is the season's center, calling you to swim against the odds for a bright future. Gracious Lord, loving Father, we want to thank you for this wonderful evening. We need your presence, we need your help as children and youth of this church as they come here to perform the program for us. We want your name to be lifted up. You help all the children, O oh God. Let this program end with great grand success. We commit ourselves, O oh God, from the start to the end of this program. Let your presence, let your glory be filled in this place. Let all the participants shall experience your presence in a very special way. If anyone is here without knowing, without having the knowledge of Christ Jesus, as they see this program, you speak to them. Let them commit their heart unto you, O oh Lord. Thank you for doing the same. We give you glory, honor, praises, thanks to you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You may be seated, please. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that, the, as we heard in the morning, as the angels declared the good news about Jesus' birth to the shepherds, the, a multitude of host angels praised God and glorified His name. The same way, let's all worship God in the best way possible. As we sing the song, Angels We Have Heard On I, I wish all of you can clap hands and sing along with me. Angels we have heard
Let's all clap hands. Thank and worship God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Worship you, Jesus. The holy night when our Christ was born, the one who gave us his love, who showed us his grace, was born for us, and he died for us. Let's all thank God for that. It says, fall on your knees, just like the angels sing. We mere, we are mere humans. We need to praise God more. Hallelujah. Let's all raise our hands and sing the song along.
Jesus, thank you, Lord. That divine night. Thank you, Jesus, for being born for us. Thank you for everything you're doing. You've done for us and you're doing for us and you will do, Lord, for us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba. Lord Jesus, we come at the rest of the time into your hands. Every single program, every single song we do, everything, Lord, we wish the Holy Spirit to lead us. Thank you for Lord, everything, oh Lord Jesus. Thank you, Abba. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. When desperation, depression, isolation, desolation, wickedness, hatredness, enmity is all you feel around drowning you. The time is here and now for you to hear and know the only hope, Jesus Christ, who is this season center, calling you to swim against the odds for a bright future. We welcome and encourage you to praise the God of hope with us for the next few hours as our children and youth present hope is here. We believe you will enjoy the evening and request you to encourage the children. Please avoid taking photographs and videos hindering the view for the rest of the audience behind you. Thank you for joining us today. our eyes to avoid the darkness of the tunnel we go through with an unseen future. We fail to see the creeping light turning bright at the end of the tunnel. So do we miss to see the greatness of the God I am. Watch the primary kiddos reminding Mary of the unseen miracles she is going to go through 
with her child Jesus. Our future is in his hands of hope. Social status, being rich or getting recognized doesn't matter. The sacrifice made to serve the Lord and surrendering our talents for His glory is all that matters. Welcoming the drummer boys to play for Christ our hope. Pom, pom. How 
finest gifts we bring To lay before the king pa rum pa bum bum rum pa bum bum rum pa bum bum So to honor him pa rum pa bum bum When we come Salvation belongs to our God. The purpose of Christ to come down to earth is to bring us the hope of our salvation. He still has open arms calling us to repent and return to him. Let's celebrate and worship the hope of our salvation. ಜೇಡಿ ಮಣ್ಣಲ್ಲಿ ನೀನು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಪಾತ್ರೆಯ ಮಾಡಿರುವೆ ಅಯ್ಯ ಅಪ್ಪ 
ಬಾಲಿ ಕರದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಜೇಡಿ ಮಣ್ಣಗಿರುವಾಗ ಆ ಜೇಡಿ ಮಣ್ಣಲ್ಲಿ ನೀನು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಪಾತ್ರೆಯ ಮಾಡಿರುವೆ ಅಯ್ಯ ನನ್ನ ಕರಗಳ ತಟ್ಟಿ ತಟ್ಟಿ ಆರಾಧಿಪೆ ಆರಾಧಿಪೆ ನಿನ್ನನ್ನ ಆರಾಧಿಪೆ ಕರಗಳ ತಟ್ಟಿ ತಟ್ಟಿ ಆರಾಧಿಪೆ ಆರಾಧಿಪೆ ನಿನ್ನನ್ನ ಆರಾಧಿಪೆ ಆರಾಧನೆ ನನ್ನೆಸಯ್ಯ ಕೊಂಡಾಡುವೆ ನನ್ನೆಸಯ್ಯ ಆರಾಧನೆ ನನ್ನೆಸಯ್ಯ ಕುಣಿದಾಡುವೆ ನನ್ನೆಸಯ್ಯ ಕತ್ತೆಯಾದ ನನ್ನ ಬಿಡಿಸಿ ಕರೆದಿರುವೇನಿ ನಿನ್ನನ್ನು ಹೊತ್ತು ಸಾಗುವಂತೆ ನನ್ನನ್ನು ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸಿರುವೆ ಕಟ್ಟಲ್ಪಟ್ಟ ಕತ್ತೆಯಾದ ನನ್ನ ಬಿಡಿಸಿ ಕರೆದಿರುವೇನಿ ನಿನ್ನನ್ನು ಹೊತ್ತು ಸಾಗುವಂತೆ ನನ್ನನ್ನು ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸಿರುವೆ ನನ್ನ ಕರಗಳ ತಟ್ಟಿ ತಟ್ಟಿ ಆರಾಧಿಪೆ ಆರಾಧಿಪೆ ಇನ್ನನ್ನ ಆರಾಧಿಪೆ ಕರಗಳ ತಟ್ಟಿ ತಟ್ಟಿ ಆರಾಧಿಪೆ ಆರಾಧಿಪೆ ಇನ್ನನ್ನ ಆರಾಧಿಪೆ ಆರಾಧನೆ ನನ್ನೆಸಯ್ಯ ಕೊಂಡಾಡುವೆ ನನ್ನೆಸಯ್ಯ ಆರಾಧನೆ ನನ್ನೆಸಯ್ಯ ಕುಣಿದಾಡುವೆ ನನ್ನೆಸಯ್ಯ When smiles are fake and laughs are false good news cherishes the heart and soul the presence of christ walking beside us daily brings meaning to life enjoy seeing the joy in our kids as they declare christ the only hope of our joy
If I were to ask you all what gift do you want for Christmas what would be your reply Here we have three siblings who wants nothing but to see their dearest brother who went to war returning home alive for Christmas In a small town in Asia Minor lived a God-fearing and devout family who were regular attender to the church and prayer meetings. The family consists of father, mother, and their four children. As the time went by, their parents died during the war, leaving behind these four children. These are the names of the four children. The eldest daughter, Lydia, the second younger son, Samuel, the third younger son, David and the fourth youngest daughter Ruth. The eldest one Lydia was forced to work in order to feed the family. These siblings were always happy, cheerful and caring for each other. Hey, come on guys, let us hurry up to Kessel. It's getting late. The prayer starts at 6 p.m. Yes, just give us 10 minutes. Ten minutes. to the castle. Let's pray and start. Father, we thank you for this beautiful evening. We come at this castle into your hands. Amen. Today's scripture is taken from Romans 12, 12. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Let's start with the discussion. How do we rejoice in hope when circumstances are bad? Deborah, as we look at life ahead, even though life comes to an end, that's not the end of the story. We have confidence that there is a life beyond that. So we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. No matter what is going on around us, trust in God. Believe that God is in control and has a plan for life even when times are tough. Yes, it's true. Jesus is the only hope that we can cling on to because He died on the cross rose from the dead and he is alive. That is the greatest hope we have in Christ that we will live with him forever. Yes, with that assurance that he is our hope in the hopeless situation, let's pray and close. All greet each other and disperse to their homes. same night after their return from Kersil, the eldest daughter Lydia turns on the TV to watch the news. There is a tension in the border. The war has been declared by our neighboring countries. Hence, I request all the eldest males of every family to join the war. Our soldiers will come to every house with regard to this. Be ready and prepared. Is it compulsory that you need to go for war? Yes, I need to go. All of them are sad after hearing the unexpected news. 
come let's have family prayer they joined together in prayer before going to bed The next day in the early hours Samuel began to pack his clothes Attention please as announced by the government that all male members in every family have to go to war requesting the eldest males of every family to come out of your houses right now Brother, we'll miss you. Do not worry. Everything will be okay. For God is with me. I will come back safe. Now four months passed by the war slowly ceased soldiers returning back to unite with their families Where is our brother Samuel? Sorry, we don't have any information about him. We will let you know. Today is the 6th of December. It's been a week since all the other soldiers have returned back to their homes, but our brother still didn't return. Oh, I miss him. He will come back. Don't worry. We have hope in God. He will come back any time from now. Let's continue to pray for a safe return. Hey, it's Christmas season. We need to plan about the Christmas gifts. The only gift I want for this Christmas is that our brother comes back home alive. Me too. Our brother should return safe. Yes, I know, but I want a brand new shoes as a Christmas gift. Oh, okay then. First, let's wait for Samuel to return back safe. Then let's think about your gift.
it's been 17 days. It's just two days away from Christmas. There is no news of their brother Samuel. They began to panic. Hope slowly starts to fade away. Dream slowly begins to shatter. Hey, it must be our brother. I'll go open the door. They greet each other and disperse. I thought it was Samuel, so I rushed to open the door, but it was a cattle team. Let's hope for something better to happen and trust in God. Yes. It's 24th morning and it's snowing heavily outside. David and Ruth rush to the door, hoping to see their brother. But to their disappointment, it was their neighbor. Come in, Mrs. Sandra. Surprised to see you this morning. I brought you all some cookies and cakes. Hope you would like it. Yes, yes we, we do. do. Hope your brother is taking good rest after his service at the battlefield. What? No, my brother has not yet come home. What? My son already returned home four weeks back. And most of the soldiers have already returned to their homes. We prayed for a safe return. We have hope in Christ that he will bring him safe. You are too spiritual. And I see you all go to church often and having family prayers every day. Don't be too spiritual. Be practical and move on with your life. You know what, I am not too religious, I don't pray too much, but my son came back after the war safely. Well, might be your brother is dead in the battlefield? Cause I heard a lot of soldiers died in the battlefield. Or maybe something else could have happened to him? Okay, I take a leave for now. Anyways, have some cookies which I have baked for you all. Their faith began to shake. Dreams about their brother returning alive seems to be another fairy tale for them all. Most of the soldiers have returned back to their homes, but our brother didn't. Not even a clue about him. Do not worry. Remember, Samuel spoke about hope in Christ in the castle. Let's wait and continue to pray. The very next day of 25th morning at 9 a.m. Who could that be? Let's not open the door immediately. Yes, I'm afraid. What it could be a soldier bringing bad news. Let's open slowly. Samuel? Hey, hey Merry Samuel! Christmas! Thank God, I'm gonna get my brand new shoes. Whoa! Yes, hope is not lost. You are not forgotten by God. So, today, look away from the confronting circumstances that are standing in front of you. Look to His promises and hold on to it. Jesus is bigger than any other problems you may be facing today. He is the only hope in the time of hopeless situation. So, come on, let's celebrate 
for the hope is here. While the world searches around in multiple ways in multiple places for a solid unwavered hope we have a firm foundation and our trust is not shaken affirm your faith as we bring out our theme hope is here There's never been a year when I've so needed to see the season come around Sweet familiar carols See the lights all over town Cause I need to be reminded In the 
darkness of these days Our God is not so far away Thank you for watching the program. We believe you have laid your anchor on Jesus Christ, our only hope, who brings contentment, cheerfulness, togetherness, joy, fertility, goodness, righteousness, fondness, friendship and love. Faith AG children and youth wish you all a joyous Christmas and a Christ-centered New Year. Please remain seated for a short sweet message that will be shared by Reverend Quintlin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a beautiful program. Let's put our hand together and appreciate our youth and the Sunday school children and the entire team. I mean, they have done very well. And I am not going to take much time because already hope is here. We have already hope in Jesus Christ. The world needs a hope today because the world is going in a desperate situation. Whatever we may be seeing around in the places, whether we are seeing in the newspaper, hearing from the televisions and other things, everywhere we are seeing disasters, wars and other things are happening. But as a children of God, we need hope and we have hope and we are confident that we have hope in Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what we have seen is for the past one hour. We have Christmas gifts. Everybody likes gifts. But the biggest gift of Christmas is the hope which God gave His only Son to us. We may be living in a dark world. We may need a light. We are looking forward to the light. But where the light comes from? In Old Testament period, we see the light came through prophets, through judges, through chief priests, through kings. And after that, for 400 years, there was no light, no hope. No news from God. No, nothing was there. People were expecting some message, some hope from God. Almost like 10 generations has gone. 
no hope from God. Suddenly, we receive a hope coming. It's looking like uh, if, you, if, you are, if your mobile is out of network area, and suddenly you got network, all the WhatsApp messages will come and pour in. That suddenly, angels comes and speaks to Zacharias. He gives hope that you will have a son. And he, he uh, speaks to Joseph, and he gives hope to Joseph that you will have a son. You will have a messiah. And this angel comes and speaks to Mary and gives Mary a hope and, uh, and giving them that you will have a child and that is Messiah. That Messiah is going to bring hope and happiness and salvation to this people of this nation. All through these years, all through the Old Testament, the salvation are the, is given to the chosen generation of children of Israel. But through the birth of Jesus Christ, this hope is shared, this salvation is shared to all the entire nations. Everybody need hope. We hope a favorable situation wherever we were going. We pray and go, Lord, I should have a favorable situation. We will be hoping for our favorite team to win the matches. We will be hoping to have a good marks in our examinations. More than me, our parents will be hoping to get good marks in our examinations. So everyone is looking for hope. There was a boy in a village. So he did not receive a proper gift for past two Christmas. So he decided to write a letter to the Santa. He wrote, Dear Santa, last previous year I did not receive a good gift from you for Christmas. Even last year I did not receive a good gift from you for my Christmas. And this is the last chance for you. I am hoping for a better gift from you. If I don't receive a better gift for you, I will be losing my hope on Santa Claus. Everybody is having hope. That's what Isaiah 9, 6 says like this. Uh, before Christ would have born, a hope was given through the prophet Isaiah. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. There are not only this promise, not only this prophecy, or not only this hope is given to those people, but there are so many prophets came and gave hope to the children of Israel that a Messiah, a hope is coming for you. A hope which will give you salvation, which will take you to the eternity, which will remove all the sorrows, which will remove all your pains, which will remove all your desperate situations. But people did not believe that. People take it for granted. But suddenly, in Luke chapter 2, we see an angel appear to Mary. And the angel has to say like this, And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever and his kingdom there will be have no end. Five promises given to Mary about the coming Messiah that he is great. He is the son of the highest. And God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And his kingdom will not end forever. But things looked very bleak for Mary. She received the promises. Six months she could give birth to the child Jesus. But after the birth, the conditions were not favorable. There are enmity. Even the kingdom was against the king of kings. Just imagine a child who born to give hope to the nation. Now the parents are in desperate situation. What to do? But they did not lose their hope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The angel gave hope to Joseph. Angel gave hope to Mary. And instead, after coming, after some days, angels are the star 
gave hope to the wise men. We see about the three wise men traveling so far, nearly thousand kilometers far and from the east, they traveled with the hope to see the son or the Messiah who was born in Bethlehem. And remember that Bethlehem is not a big city. It's a small village. Our lowest village of that Judean uh, uh, city or Judean country. But the prophecy fulfilled in the lowly place. A remotest remote villages. A savior was born. This message brought hope and confidence and blessing to the people. The wise men received the hope. And they traveled all the way, took all the pain, took all the struggles, and came and met this hope at Jesus Christ. This hope was given to the shepherds. The shepherds were in the field. They are the outcast people. Nobody bothered about the shepherds. Nobody wanted to speak to the shepherds. But the good news or the hope is shared to the shepherds. Uh, this good news is shared to the priest, one of the priests called Simeon. In Luke chapter 2, verse 25 to 33, it says, Simeon found hope in Jesus. He says, my eyes have seen your salvation, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles. So the, the hope was given to the wise men, the intellectuals, the, the so-called the elite group. The hope was given to the outcasts like shepherds, people living in the field, those who don't have the hope and those who don't have what to do and they don't have the cultural mannerism, ordinary peoples. And the hope given to the people in the temple, the priest and the people in the temple also saw the hope. That's what the, uh, all about Christmas. Christmas gives hope. Here one said, when Christ's birth has given hope to Mary, to Joseph, to the wise men, to the shepherds, and to the priests, and other people in the temple, but even now there are hopeless peoples the other side. The people who expected Messiah for so many years, they're looking for a hope. When the hope was present there, when the hope was in front of them, they could not understand the hope and they could not take it him as a messiah and they lost their hope. So many times it will be like that. The king Herod, he was hopelessness. As soon as he heard the message of the birth of Christ, he lost his hope. And not only the Herod, the king, even the Caesar Augustus, the emperor lost his hope. Not only his, the emperor and the king, even the scribes and all over the people in Jerusalem lost their hope. What is your situation now? We are expecting for a message from God. You are expecting a miracle from God. You are expecting a word from God. You are expecting a hope from God. You are expecting a good news from God. But... When the good news is in front of you, when the hope is in front of you, when the joy is in front of you, you fail to take it. You doubt that hope and you lose the hope and you live in desperate situation. You live in desperate situation. Dearly beloved, remember one thing, Jesus' birth, Jesus' upbringing, everything is not a, a beautiful one or it's not a bed of roses. He has to go through all the difficulties each and every one we are going through in our life. He has to live for his life with the work he has did through the carpentry work. We do not know how much salary he would have earned during that period. But he gave hope to the people. He lived among the people. He moved with compassion to the people. If you are sitting here, with a pain, with a desperate situation, losing all the hopes, expecting some miracle from God. Remember one thing, this Jesus, who was born in Bethlehem, 
who gave hope to Joseph, Mary, wise man, shepherd, and all the people around that place, those who believed in him, is ready to give the same hope to you. That's what we see, hope is here. No need to run here and there. People run to pillars and posts. People run to mountains and valleys. People run from temples to temples. Even Christians run from temples to temple. Prophets to prophet. This place, that place, other place. But remember one thing. I am here to tell you. Hope is not anywhere. Hope is here. The place where you live. When you kneel down in prayer and seek the face of God. You will receive this hope which the God has promised through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hope is here. Do not be afraid. Shepherds did not know anything. They have never seen an angel. So they were afraid. Suddenly in the night, nobody has gone and spoken to them. No one has gone and given the, shared the good news to them. They do not know anything. Suddenly, suddenly an angel goes. Suddenly the light appears. I am bringing good news. So shepherds feared. But after receiving the good news, they came, they saw, and they went. Hallelujah. How you are receiving the good news? How you receive the good news is the matter. Good news is preached to everyone. So many people who lived along with you, who work along with you, those who know Jesus, those who know God, those who know salvation, but they fail to take this hope in them. They neglected Jesus. But you have chosen it. And you have come here. And even then, you are living in a desperate situation because you don't 100% believe that you will have hope, you will have joy, you will enjoy the real peace of Christmas in your heart through this Jesus Christ. Remember one thing, problems are common to everybody. You may be going through difficult situations in your life. As I said, Jesus' life was not an easy life. Even not only his childhood, even his young, young life, it was not mentioned anywhere. But even his ministry experiences, three and a half years, he has ministry experience, he, has, he was doing all good. The Bible says he moved with compassion, he walked with compassion, healing the people, healing the sick people, and providing the people, and meeting all the needs of the people. Even then, he has to face oppositions. Why? For the sake of us, so that we will live, so that he will take us to eternity. Hallelujah. How many of you believe this Jesus? How many of you believe this Jesus? He will give us hope. Hallelujah. We are going to close this in prayer. A hope in Jesus Christ. Herod could have accommodated Jesus and received this hope, but he failed to receive this. The scribes, they know that their Messiah is going to be born in Bethlehem because they have the people who understand, they have the knowledge about the Old Testament, they are the people who do research in the Bible, the Old Testament books. But they failed to take this hope. But as a common people, common people, we have to take this hope so that our future, better future will be better and will be prosperous. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we raise to our feet? Hallelujah. Hope is here. Don't run here and there for hope. Don't run here and there for, for, for something which you are looking for. Something which you, uh, which, the miracle which you are looking for. Everything is in you. Everything is in the place where you are living. Bible says when the king Herod heard this news, he was disturbed. Why get disturbed? Raise your hands and tell Jesus, Lord, I need this hope. Hallelujah. Everyone, Lord, I need this hope. Everyone open your mouth and say to God, 
Lord, you have sent the hope to this nation, to me, for my life, for my peace, for to, so that I can enjoy the salvation. But I'm not fully enjoying the salvation. I'm not fully receiving this joy. I'm not fully healed. I'm not able to move forward. But this day, as I heard, I'm not going to fear about my problems. I'm not going to fear about my future. I'm not going to fear about my ne next year, what will be. I'm not going to fear about my employment. I'm not going to fear about my finances. I'm not going to finance, uh, fear about my future. Because I know the God who holds my future. And I give my life, my family's life into the hands of the God who holds my future. So that you will enjoy this hope without fear. Hallelujah. 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 Father, bless each and every individual so Father. Those who have raised their hands to receive the hope fully, let them enjoy this hope. Remove away the, all the fear from them, O oh Father. Let a mighty hand be upon them, O oh Father. Let them enjoy the season's joy, the greatness of the joy, and uh, let them have fullness of life, O oh Father. Thank you for everything, O oh Father. Don't let the Satan steal your hope. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before we could close this uh, a wonderful children program, we want to uh, we want to thank the people who are behind this, especially the teachers of Sunday school, uh, the, 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 the media team and the Sunday school director, everyone we want to thank. If you, if you could come to the stage so that we want, to, we want to thank you for all the work you are doing throughout the year in educating the children in the, in the spiritual, in our nurturing our children in the spiritual things. All the teachers, all the uh, media team, if you could come towards the stage. Everyone, come quickly. Sunday school teachers. Everyone, everyone. Wait, wait, let them come up. Let them come up. <laughs> See their faces and clap. Come, come, come. Media team, media team. Media team always, they are behind the scenes. Media team. And uh, everyone in the Sunday school. Sunday school teachers. Yes. Sunday school teachers, yes. Media team. Brother Tony, come. Tony, brother. Check, check, check. Yes. Ah, uh, Peter. Then, come, 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 come. Media team, come, come. Joe also sometimes will hold the camera. Come. So. Come, come, no problem. This is the media team. Nowadays, those days we see the. Only men handling the cameras. Nowadays, all women are handling the cameras. Media team, come, Farina. Farina is the head of the media team. And uh, Kenisha, assistants. Then uh, Richard, Richard, Joseph, Derek, Jonathan, Peter, brother. And uh, we will see one person inside, uh, uh, Tony brother, where is he? Uh, he's coming slowly, let him come. Uh, uh, then we will introduce the Sunday school teachers. This is uh, Sunday school director, uh, Carol Joy. This is. And she is my wife. And uh, Melvin, Merlin. Lavanya, Shalini, 
சூர்யா ஷேரன் மிரக்கல் சௌமியா அனிதா சுனிரம் ஆஷா நிக்கிதா பூஜா கென்னிஷா ஆல்சோ டீச்சர் and this is tony brother he is come brother he will always be behind only he is in if there is no sound he is in charge if there is sound he is in charge <laughs> so now let's put our hand together and uh, bless them hallelujah they are the people who are training your students they work outside or they study in the colleges and schools uh, even then they take extra time to prepare the notes to uh, educate this uh, your your children so they your children are in the safe hands if you are not sending your children to sunday class make sure that uh, uh, make sure that uh, you send them so that they will train them in the biblical knowledge hallelujah so we are going to pray for them i request uncle fastin to come and bless this uh, uh, people who are behind the scenes let's close our eyes stretch forth your hand towards them and bless them throughout the year they are the one they are doing the business regularly they don't bother anybody whether rain or sun they come on time and they if they want to take sunday class they have to attend two services they have to attend uh, english service and take sunday class for the tamil service or uh, they have to attend the tamil service and take sunday class in the english service so they are putting their entire efforts and almost uh, two three services they will be in the church right ellarum kangalai moduvom karangalai ivargalukku nerai neetuvom ellarum ellarum vaayigalai therandu ஒரு சில நிமிடங்கள் ஸ்தோத்திரம் சொல்லுவோம் ஸ்தோத்திரம் என்று சொல்லுவோம் ஸ்தோத்திரம் சொல்ல தெரியாத நன்றி என்று சொல்லுவோம் இங்கிலீஷில் தேங்க்ஸ் என்று சொல்லுவோம் யாருக்கு ஆண்டவருக்கு இவ்வளோ நேரம் ப்ரோக்ராம் நடந்திருக்கு இந்த ப்ரோக்ராம் எல்லாத்துக்கும் காரணம் இவர்கள் தான் இயக்குநர்கள் எல்லாம் வாய்களை திறந்து ஸ்தோத்திரம் பண்ணுவோம் ஸ்தோத்திரம் ஆண்டவர் எமே ஸ்தோத்திரிக்கிறோம் ஸ்தோத்திரம் ஆண்டவர் எல்லாம் சத்தமாக சத்தம் உயர்த்தி சொல்லுவோம் ஸ்தோதிரம் 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 ஆண்டு பிறகு எல்லோரும் இவர்களுக்காக ஜபிக்க போயிடும் எல்லாம் கரங்களை நீட்டி ஜபிக்கலாம் சர்வ உள்ளமில் தான் எங்கள் பரலோக பிதாவே எங்கள் அன்பின் நல்ல தகப்பனே இந்த அருமையான மாலை வேளையிலே நம்முடைய சமூகத்திலே கூடி வர கத்தர் கொடுத்த கிருவைக்காக நாங்களுமே நன்றியோடு துதிக்கிறோம் சோதரிக்கிறோம் நீர் நல்லவர் வல்லவர் போதுமானவர் எங்களை காக்கிறவர் காண்கிறவர் கைவிடாதவர் எங்களை விட்டு ஒருபோதும் விலகாதவராயிருக்கிறபடினால் உமை நன்றியோடு துதிக்கிறோம் 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 தம்முடைய நேசகுமாரன் என்றும் பாராமல் அவர் எங்களுக்காக தந்தர்கள் இவ்வளவாய் எங்கள் மேல் அன்பு கூர்ந்த பரம பிதாவே மே நன்றியோடு துதிக்கிறோம் சோதரிக்கிறோம் பிதாவின் வலது பாசத்தில் வீற்றிருக்கிறதை கொள்ளையாடின பொருளாக கொள்ளாமல் தம்மை தாமே வெறுத்து சிலுவைச்சாவின் மரண பரியந்தம் எங்கள் பிதாவின் சித்தத்துக்கு கீழ்ப்படிந்து எங்களுக்காக சிலுவையிலே பலியான எங்கள் ஆண்டவராகிய இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவே நாங்கள் மே நன்றியோடு துதிக்கிறோம் எங்கள் மத்தியிலே உலாவி கொண்டிருக்கிறதான பரிசுத்த ஆவியானவரே நாங்களும் என் நன்றியோடு துதிக்கிறோம் சோதரிக்கிறோம் தெரியக தேவனே நாங்களும் என் நன்றியோடு துதிக்கிறோம் சோதரிக்கிறோம் என் நாமத்தை பிரஸ்தாபிக்கிற எந்த ஸ்தானத்திலும் நான் உன்னிடத்திலே வந்து உன்னை ஆசீர்வதிப்பேன் என்று சொன்னவரே நாங்களும் என் நன்றியோடு துதிக்கிறோம் சொத்திருக்கிறோம் ஒருவன் எனக்கு ஊழியம் செய்வானானால் பிதாவானவர் அவனை கனம் பண்ணுவார் என்று சொல்லப்பட்ட வேத வசனத்தின்படி உம்முடைய பிள்ளைகள் உமக்கென்று செய்த அந்த ஊழியத்துக்காக அவர்களை நீர் ஆசீர்வதிக்கும்படியாய் உமை நோக்கி ஜபிக்கிறோம் கர்த்தாவே இவர்கள் எடுத்த பிரயாசங்கள் அனைத்திற்கும் இந்த நாளிலே நீர் ஒரு வெற்றியை கட்டளையிட்டபடியினால் உமை நன்றியோடு உமை துதிக்கிறோம் சோத்திருக்கிறோம் இந்த சபைக்கும் சமுதாயத்துக்கும் எதிர்காலத்திலே உருவாகிற சந்ததியை உமக்குள்ளாய் உருவாக்க அவர்களுக்கு கொடுத்த கிருமைக்காக நாங்கள் உமை நன்றியோடு துதிக்கிறோம் சோத்திருக்கிறோம் இவர்கள் ஒன்றிலும் குறைவுபடாதபடிக்கு எல்லாவற்றிலும் நிறைவான ஆசீர்வாதங்களை பெற்று தங்கள் வாழ்க்கையிலே கலங்கரை விளக்கமாய் உம்முடைய ஒளியை வீசத்தக்கதாக 
கத்தர் இவர்களுக்கு கிருபை பாராட்ட வேண்டும் என்று உமை நோக்கி ஜெபிக்கிறோம் இவர்கள் உருவாக்கினா அந்த சிறுவர்கள் வாலிபர்கள் வருங்காலத்திலே உமக்கென்று பிரகாசிக்கிற சுடர்களாய் அவர்கள் இருக்க கத்தர் உதவி செய்வீராகி கோணலும் மாறுபாடுமான இந்த சந்ததியிலே ஆண்டவரே நம்முடைய பிள்ளைகள் ஜீவ வசனத்தை பிடித்து கொண்டு சுடர்களை போல பிரகாசிக்க ஒவ்வொரு பிள்ளைகளுக்கு நீ கிருபை தருவீராக விசேஷமாக இந்த ஆசிரிய பெருமக்களை இந்த ஆண்டுரை இயக்குநர்களை கத்தர் ஆண்டுரை எடுத்து இன்னும் அதிகமாய் பயன்படுத்த வேண்டும் என்று நம்ம நோக்கி ஜெபிக்கிறோம் சபையின் வளர்ச்சி சிறுவர்கள் மூலமாக சிறுவர்கள் ஊழியமாகத்தான் என்பதை நாங்கள் அறிந்து அறிக்கை செய்து உமக்கு நாங்கள் நன்றி செலுத்துகிறோம் இந்த சபையில் எப்படிப்பட்ட ஊழியத்தை நீர் உருவாக்கினதற்காக நாங்களுமே நன்றியோடு துதிக்கிறோம் பரலோகத்தின் பிதாவே நாங்கள் உமக்கு ஸ்தோத்திரம் செலுத்துகிறோம் ஆண்டுவரே பரலோகத்தின் உமது நாமமே பரிசுத்தப்படுவதாக உம் ராஜ்யம் வருவதாக உமது சித்தம் பரத்தில் செய்யப்படுவது போல உமது சித்தம் பரத்தில் செய்யப்படுவது போல பூமியிலேயும் அதுவே செய்யப்படுவதாக பரலூகத்தின் பிதாவே மது நாமமே பரிசுத்தப்படுவதாக உம் ராஜ்யம் வருவதாக அந்தண்டுள்ள எங்கள் அப்பம் இன்று எங்களுக்கு தாரும் அந்தண்டுள்ள எங்கள் அப்பம் இன்று எங்களுக்கு தாரும் ஜீவ அப்பம் நீரே அதுவே எங்களுக்கு போதும் பரலோகத்தின் பிதாவே உமது நாமமே பரிசுத்தப்படுவதாக உம் ராஜ்யம் வருவதாக எங்கள் கடனாளிகளை நாங்கள் மன்னிப்பது போல எங்கள் கடனாளிகளை நாங்கள் மன்னிப்பது போல எங்கள் கடன்களையும் எங்களுக்கு மன்னியும் தேவா தீமைகளிலே இருந்தும் சோதனைகளில் இருந்தும் எங்களை ரட்சியும் தேவா எங்கள் ரட்சக நீரே பரலோக தின்பிதாவே ஸ்தோத்திரமும் கணமும் வல்லமையும் துதியும் ஸ்தோத்திரமும் கணமும் வல்லமையும் துதியும் உமக்கே 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 என்றென்று செலுத்துகின்றோமே பரலோகத்தின் பிதாவே உமது நாமமே பரிசுத்தப்படுவதாக உம் ராஜ்யம் வருவதாக சர்வ வல்லமுள்ளவரே இந்த நாளில் என்னுடைய பிரச்சனத்திலும் நீர் எங்களை வைத்திருக்கிறதுக்கு ஆஸ்தோத்திரம் இந்த இளைய சமுதாயத்தை உமக்கென்று உருவாக்கி உங்களுடைய பிள்ளைகளை எடுத்து பயன்படுத்தினபடி நாள் உமக்கு ஸ்தோத்திரம் 
அதற்கு ஏற்ற பலனை ஆண்டவர் அவருடைய வாழ்க்கையிலே அபரிவிதமாக நீர் பரத்திலிருந்து கொடுக்க வேண்டும் என்று பிதா குமாரன் பர்சுத்தாவின் நாமத்தினாலே இவர்களை நாங்கள் ஆசீர்வதித்து ஜெபிக்கிறோம் இன்னும் உமக்கென்று அவர்கள் ஊழியம் செய்ய பலன் ஞானம் கிருவை உடல் ஆரோக்கியம் எல்லாம் தந்து அவர்களை நீர் ஆசீர்வதிக்க வேண்டும் என்று முன்னோக்கி ஜெபிக்கிறோம் உடைய கரத்தில் எங்களை தாழ்த்துகிறோம் உமை உயர்த்துகிறோம் ஏசு கிறிஸ்துவின் இன்ப நாமத்தில் ஜெபிக்கிறோம் எங்கள் ஜீவனுள்ள நல்ல பிதாவே ஆமேன் ஆமேன் ஆமாம் Thank you, thank you. Praise God Lord, bless you all. Praise Lord, praise Lord. Hallelujah. Let's put our hand and uh, appreciate God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have a few announcements before we could close this program. We are come to the end of this program. Uh, remember one thing, next, uh, next Sunday as usual morning we will have three services, 6 a.m., 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. And uh, next Sunday evening, Christmas Eve, 24th evening, 8 p.m., we will be having a special uh, prayer uh, for christmas and 25th morning 6 am and 8 am we will be having two services nyabagam vaitukollungal adutha nyaayitukalamai kaalaiyile valakkam pola 6 mani 8 mani 10 mani ka aaradhanegal undu nal adutha nyaayitukalamai 24 am thedi evening a irukkira padinal 8 mani ku oru visheshitha கிறிஸ்மஸ் ஆராதனையை வைத்திருக்கிறோம் எட்டு மணிக்கு அது நடைபெறும் அது மட்டுமல்லாமல் இருபத்தி ஐந்தாம் தேதி கிறிஸ்மஸ் தினத்தன்று காலையில் ஆறு மணிக்கு தமிழ் மற்றும் கன்னட பாஷையிலையும் எட்டு எட்டு மணிக்கு ஆங்கிலம் மற்றும் தெலுங்கு பாஷையிலையும் இருக்கும் பத்து மணிக்கு எந்த ஆராதனையும் இருக்காது இதை உங்கள் மனதிலே வைத்துக் கொள்ளுங்கள் உங்கள் நண்பர்கள் ப்ளீஸ் இன்ஃபார்ம் யுவர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் அதர்ஸ் அண்ட் ப்ளீஸ் டூ கம் இப்போது இந்த இடத்தை விட்டு செல்லும்போது உங்களுக்கு ரெஃப்ரெஷ்மெண்ட்ஸ் அரேஞ்ச் பண்ணியிருக்கார்கள் அதை எடுத்து செல்லும்படியாக கேட்டுக்கொள்கிறேன் வி ஹாவ் ரெஃப்ரெஷ்மெண்ட்ஸ் அரேஞ்ச் ஃபார் யூ ப்ளீஸ் டூ டேக் ஒன் பேக்கெட் அண்ட் கோ ஃப்ரம் திஸ் பிளேஸ் லெட்ஸ் ரேஸ் டு அவர் ஃபீட் அண்ட் ஐ ரிக்வஸ்ட் அவர் பாஸ்டர் மோன் சி டு கம் அண்ட் க்ளோஸ் திஸ் ஒண்டர்ஃபுல் கிறிஸ்மஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் வித் வேர்ட் ஆஃப் ப்ரேயர் ப்ளீஸ் க்ளோஸ் யுர் ஐஸ் Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this wonderful day. We thank you for the time that we, Lord, we enjoy together in your presence, Lord. We thank you especially for our Sunday school children. Thank you for their life. Lord, we thank you for, all the, thank you for our youth. Thank you for their life. And Lord, we thank you for all their effort today that so, so that they can perform good programs. And Lord, that could... Uh, Lord, that we could enjoy together, Lord. We thank you for your name is glorified through their programs, Lord. We thank you for all the teachers and all the people who are involved in this, behind this program, Lord. Pray that you continue to bless them. Use them for your glory, Lord. Especially I pray for all the people who are gathered this evening. Pray that you continue to touch their life. Lord, you are the only one hope our, in our life, Lord. The old, Lord, you are our future. You are alone can give us hope this evening, Lord. Lord, we thank you for reminding us through your servant. Thank you for speaking to us, Lord. Pray that you continue to speak to everyone who are coming here, Lord Father. We thank and praise you, Lord. We thank you for all the programs and thank you for your presence. Thank you for protecting and your guidance on all the blessings that we have received from you, Lord. Once again, we want to give you all the glory, honor and praise and worship unto you alone, we Lord. Because you are the only one, Lord, to be glorified and honored, Lord. Especially we thank you that your son, Jesus Christ, is our hope and help us to continue to share this hope to people around us through our lives, through our behavior, through our testimonies, Lord. And we will be able to speak to the people who, are, who do not know Jesus Christ. And they will receive you, you as a hope in their lives, Lord. We thank you and praise you. Once again, we bless everyone who have come here in your name, Lord. Let your name be glorified through their life. We thank you and praise you for all that you have done again. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. 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 Now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, sweet communion fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and forever more let everyone say amen amen have a beautiful blessed day coming sunday we will have our children's church youth meeting and all our three services as usual Coming Sunday at 8 p.m. we will have the Christmas Eve service. Don't miss it.
We have two services on Christmas Day, 6 a.m. in Tamil and Kannada and 8 a.m. in English and Telugu. Let's come together to worship the Lord remembering His birth for us. New Year service will be on 31st December at 10 p.m.